Push me to the edge. On my friend of the day. Push me to the edge. Yeah. On my friend of the day. 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 Yeah. On my friend of it's another vegan back with another video today and today I'm gonna to be doing a little Uzi Vert slash Molly Raw slash DP Beats type of beat today and also shout out my guy Tay Rocket for the suggestion he commented on a previous video letting me know what he wanted to see you know they have this video gamey kind of quirky happy vibe to a lot of their production now remember when I'm doing these type beats I'm not necessarily trying to copy what I hear I'm trying to take inspiration and turn it into my own thing. So enough of that. You came here for a reason. You want to learn how to make a little Uzi Vert type beat. Let's go straight into FL Studio. So I'm not going to lie to you. It took me a while to actually get these sounds right because the only VST I'm really using right now is Omnisphere. I don't have anything else on my laptop. Now when it comes to sound selection, they're very like synthesized and they're very simple sounds. Now you can usually get these sounds out of like Electra X or Nexus. All right, so the first sound I have in here is actually not even a preset. It is just a um, sample itself. It's called MT240 Accordion. If you actually go into the file directory of the 10,000 sounds that Omnisphere has, just type in MT240 Accordion. So on this melody, I have a parametric EQ, cut out the lows, um, and then I have a dip around, what's this, 15, 15, 21 hertz, just to have that second melody cut through the mix just a little more. Um, I also have a gross beat, half speed. I have a multiband compressor just to take out some more of those low mid frequencies because the, this, this sound was very rich and I kind of wanted to like thin it out, like I said, like those Nexus Electra X kind of sounds. And then another parametric EQ. Um, this is just for effects uh, for the intro. So here's what that first melody sounds like. All right, so for the second melody that I have in here, it's pretty much this uh, video gamey kind of whistle. And that preset is called Mini Boxed Whale. And I pretty much just have halftime on it. And now the third sound I have, which is honestly one of my favorite presets in Omnisphere, it's called Early Chromophonic, Chromophonic, not sure. Uh, pad two, and it's, come on, man. It's this very retro sounding pad, and I pretty much used it to kind of emphasize that lead that I had going on in that first melody. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the melody. You have those three sounds pretty much looping over and over again. So now all three together sound like this. So now let's get straight into the drums, everybody's favorite part. Started off with this clap right here just to get things moving. went in added some hi-hats now i wanted that first moment of the bar to be kind of you know impactful so i used this one third step roll right in the beginning and then i sprinkled some rolls here and there now we already have some bounce going and now i pretty much just want to emphasize that bounce. Now there's a bunch of perks that come in and out and pan left and right. Some more perks. Now at the end of this bar, I have these uh, kind of powerful claps just to kind of let the listener know that that bar is over and that another one's gonna start. 
added some reverb just to make it sound bigger. I also layered the clap with a snare just to give it some more power. Let's add a kick in there. And last but not least, the 808. Now, when it comes to Little Uzi's production, there's a lot of filtering that goes on there. Now, for the beginning of this beat, I added a low pass parametric EQ um, and pretty much just automated it. And on top of that, I also added a love filter that comes in and out just to give it this uh, kind of waving feel. So I'll let you guys hear that right here. So you guys get that. And then I, I pretty much kept that low pass going all the way up until the beat drops. So that gives the entire intro this kind of, you know, whimsical kind of underwater feel. And then right when the beat drops, the kicks, the 808s, the hi-hats, everything is going. It kind of just feels like everything is being released. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the sounds in this beat. I could have made one on the spot, but like I said, I don't want to just make a beat on the spot in 10 minutes and it not be any good. I want to bring you guys actual quality. So I took some time to make this beat and actually think it through. And that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you guys don't want to miss any content. And I'm going to go ahead and play this beat for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.